Lan Warm Greetings, time to present the English news. The Kabul Security Commandment officials are saying only the signs sustained critical ones in today's incident in capital Kabul city. Ashmad Sanakzai, spokesman for the Kabul Security Commandment, say that a signed bomber was identified and shot by the security forces before he managed to reach to his target. Sanakzai further added that the bomber was looking to target a catering of protesters in Sharanao Park city. No individual or group has so far claimed responsibility behind the incident. The officials had earlier said the side bomber has been shot dead by the security forces today while he was trying to come in the get ring. Dozens of supporters of General Abdul Rashid Dostum had participated in a demonstration in Kabul city today, demanding the return of the vice president from Turkey. The Afghan National Security Advisor Mohammad Ani Fatma met with the commander of the U.S. forces and the NATO-led resolute support of mission in Afghanistan, General John McCallson. Officer of the National Security Council in a statement say that the two sides held talks regarding the extension of the fanning of the Afghan forces ongoing air campaign security in elections. Atmar thanked Resolute Support Mission and NATO Commander General Nicholson for the support during the NATO Leaders Summit. He also thanked the United States and NATO for extending the fanning and cooperation with the Afghan National Defense and Security Forces until 2024. U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has told that his top diplomats to seek direct talks with the Taliban, a significant shift in U.S. policy in Afghanistan, done in the hope of jump star negotiations to end the 17-year war, according to New York Times report. The United States is preparing to undertake a review of its strategy in Afghanistan. U.S. official Sori Reuter said a year after Trump be grudgingly agreed to extend America's involvement in the 17-year-old war. The Taliban have long said they will first discuss peace only with the Americans, but the U.S. has mostly insisted that the Afghan government must take part. The recent strategy shift, which was confirmed by several senior American and Afghan officials, is intended to bring those two possessions closer and lead to broader formal negotiations to end the long war. And President Donald Trump opened a summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday, but predicting that their countries will end up having an extraordinary relationship, but without mentioning Moscow's meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election in his opening remarks. Our two countries, frankly, we have not been getting along well. Trump said as he and Putin sat down at the presidential palace in Fallon's capital, I really think the world wants to see us get along. Putin, for his part, said... He and Trump have maintained regular contact, including talking by phone and meeting and initial even speaking. Through a translator, Russian leader said the time has come to have a throw out discussions on various initial problems and sensitive issues. The summit got underway hours after Trump blamed the United States and not Russian elections meddling or its annexation of Crimea for a low point in US Russia relations. The drama was playing out against a backdrop of fraying Western alliances, a new peak in the Russia investigation, and fears that Moscow's aggression may go unchallenged. Thank you. That was a brief. Take care. Bye.